Okay, it's just gone two in the afternoon. We've got a setting sun, so you can imagine it's very, it's one of the shortest days <laughs> of the year in the Highlands of Scotland. And I've got this awesome little quad to play with. As you saw, there's some funky little features on it, and I'll show you those uh, later on. Uh, but I just needed to get out and do this flight. You see, I'm just about catching the rays of the sun, but only just. Nice little quad. Uh, I love these things. Uh, robust. Um, hardly anything's going to damage it. It's not going to damage anything. Got a nice little FPV system on it as well if you want. But if you're new to flying, as I always say, don't bother with the cameras and everything. Strip it all off and just actually learn to fly and have some fun flying. Then add your camera and play with your FPV and everything. That's the way I would do it anyway. So on with the quad first of all. And this is, like I say, a robust little quad. It's like a scaled down version of an X5 or an X8. Uh, it's a little tiny thing. I love the way the front is all bright yellow. So it identifies front and rear. If you're new to flying, that is going to be really helpful. It's got some really cracking LEDs on it as well, which are rather nice. And this one amazingly comes with a 1600 milliamp hour battery. So it's going to give us loads of flight time and it just connects with the lossy micro into there. We do have an on off switch here and it's modular as well. So we can just swap this over the camera over. Uh, the camera is tiltable, as you see, so you can tilt it back and forwards. Got a little tiny camera in there. It's, I'm not expecting huge guns out of it, uh, but it's nice to get you started. And I think the FPV looks pretty good from what I just quickly tested it indoors. The, uh, it takes a, a micro SD card in as well. So even if you're starting to lose signal on your phone, it's still going to be recording uh, video onto the cards, which is really good. As you can see, FPV system and also a, a gaming style transmitter. I'll run through all the functions on the transmitter when I actually get up in flight because <laughs> that light's going to go in about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, it's an auto bind system and you can either turn the quad on first of all, and like I say, you've got really smart LED. When I turn the transmitter on, you'll notice we get a very fast pulse there and then it binds. Just make sure it's on somewhere level when you do it. If you need to calibrate it, the two sticks are down and to the right to calibrate it. And I think if you calibrate it for your headless mode, it's down to the left. Yeah, there we go. You can start the motors by, oh, I can never remember this because I've just done another review. Down and in, no, down and out, no. Oh, it's this one that starts it. Okay, <laughs> you caught me. Uh, press that one, it starts them and also stops them as well. We've got an emergency stop here, headless mode here, and uh, also return to home as well. And the bottom one is uh, auto takeoff and auto landing. These ones are trim buttons and these ones as well. And this is our speed rates and it always starts in low rates um, and we can go up and down on the rates there. These buttons in the middle do nothing. I'll run through the rest as we get into the air. Now the quad will have set up a Wi-Fi hotspot because we've got the camera attached and we're just going to log on to that. So go into your Wi-Fi settings. Mine's already picked it up because I did just quickly have a quick play with it indoors to make sure it worked. And there we go. So if you've got loads of other Wi-Fi uh, things around you, if you're in a town or something, or if I was closer to the router indoors, uh, it would come up with that. You just need Wi-Fi, UFO, and then a series of numbers behind it, as you can see there. Go back to your home page and we're going to use GX uh, FPV app. We've got our settings in here. I'm going to leave everything as stock, but you can change it to right hand when you're flying on the actual uh, phone. And hopefully if the weather holds, I'm going to do that as well for you. And it's got the full instructions on the app here. But I've actually done a full uh, review on how to fly uh, with an app. And it's basically this app. Uh, they, they're almost generic now from the original ones. Oh, wow. That's pretty quick. That ain't bad for a little, little old drone. That's doing pretty good. Yeah. So. Actually, the picture's not bad. Lousy filming conditions. I mean, it's really dark, uh, really miserable. Um, but it, uh, you know, from that initial thing, it seems pretty good. Now we can start and stop uh, the video here. So we can take a still, just quick press, and that would do a quick, there we go. And you get a thing that is taken it. I can hold it down for a couple of seconds, get a big beep, and that means we're gonna start the video. And then I'm gonna stop the video. But if you do it from there, all it does is record it as photo one, video one. Uh, so if you shoot tomorrow, you'll have photo one, video one as well, if you wipe wiped your card clean. So if we, let me just stop that, sorry. <laughs> there we go. If I start it and take them from up here, it actually date stamps them in the, in the uh, name of it. I'll put a couple of examples up. So I always use here. It's a much easier way of uh, storing your photos, just the way I do it. So I'm going to pop that on and let's get ready to go. So start the motors up and away and that's in low rates. And that is really nice and low. It's altitude hold, by the way. So to go up and down, we just give it some throttle. And then when we let go, it'll level out. Pull it down, it'll level out again. If you want it to turn, that's called yawing. Push it to the right, and it will turn to the right. Push it to the left, and it will turn to the left. If you want to go forward, push it forward, and it will go forward. 
backwards that's called pitching and then rolling is roll to the right and roll to the left now that's the orientation of the quad i.e the yellow bit so if i turn the yellow bit towards me and push forwards it will come forwards towards me and backwards and right to, right and left are now changed around that's the way you should learn to fly but this one does actually have headless mode on it so let me just pop that there so i can just show you just depends what way there we go what way i had it when i set it up so forward is always that way now so headless has no heading basically so I can turn it around whatever way I want. If I push that way, it'll always go forward away from me. Uh, I don't recommend that as a way to fly, but it is on there. It's also got a return to home. If I hold that down for a couple of seconds, it will go in that direction. It doesn't know where home is, basically. Uh, it just uses the same as headless mode. So if I was down there, it would fly to me, but it will also keep flying as well. So We've got that emergency stop. Let me just show you that first of all. So just literally press that and it would just kill the motor. So just be careful when you use that. That's a real sort of, you're in a panic situation, you want to stop, that's all you're going to do. <laughs> wow, do you know there's very few little quads, cameras, that will, won't produce a black sun. I know that sounds weird if you're new to it, but honestly, that is very unusual. So again, start the motors. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's do it this time. I'm going to do the auto takeoff one, which is that one. You have to start the motor, sorry, and then press that, and then it'll automatically pump up. I don't really know why you want auto start, auto stop uh, on them, because um, you've got a throttle here. That'll do exactly the same. That'll just come in and land, and then if I hold it down, once it's touched the ground, it will stop. So I really don't understand auto take off, auto land. And just one thing I forgot to explain there was if I pop it on headless mode, you get flash LEDs warning you that you're in headless mode. We've got a flip button on here as well, so you simply press that and then you choose a direction. It's quite a good little flipper, actually. <laughs> there we go. It actually does quite well. You go forward, backwards, right or left. And you can't actually do it when it's in motion either. It has to be not have any stick input and then it will do it. So some of them you can do in motion. So that's in low rates. I'm actually quite impressed with this thing. Press that one. Oh, sorry, wrong one. That's the photo one. Ugh. So it's these ones here. So it's in... It's in low rates. Let me just do that. So that's in low rates. That's into intermediate. As you can see, way nice. A little bit zippier. Very nice. And then that's high rates. Nice. <laughs> this thing's fun. Oh yeah, lovely. And it can actually ascend when it's on full pitch as well. Not that full pitch is really that aggressive, but that is pretty cool. Range looks pretty good to me. <laughs> I mean, how far do you want to go? <laughs> it's only a little tight, and actually, the FPV is working. I mean, this is awful conditions for it to be for any, any camera to be working in, to be honest. Actually, a really nice little flyer. I'm not too sure what uh, on range will happen. I'm pretty sure if I just kill the um, I'm just actually going to turn the transmitter off. I would imagine it's just going to drop out the sky then. There we go. There we go. So what all it will do is just come down and auto land. So, And to bind it back up, just simply turn that back on again. There we go. And we're ready to go. Another way you can start the motor is just flick that forward. So just show you that as well. So there's three ways, of, uh, three ways of doing it, isn't there? No, sorry, two ways. Flick that or press that. And then you've got your auto takeoff there. So we're going to start the video again. range so we know if we go out of range it will just drop to the ground i'm just going to give it a quick range test i'm not going to go mad with it to be perfectly honest oh of course it dropped down into low rates didn't it gee whiz that's 50 meters there easy well there we go oh <laughs> oh well that's that was a 50 meter range test for you there we go perfect so i wonder if that's reconnected no it hasn't Yay, look at that, that's pretty cool. So really nice. I like this thing. Oh, let's do a quick couple of selfies. There again. There we go. That is very good. 
Oh, it's actually, f oh, actually the app's just crashed. That's unusual. Just gonna reconnect that, see what happened there. Yeah, back in line. Hmm, don't know what happened there. Right then, I think that's pretty much everything covered on there. Again, as soon as you start it, it's gone back into low rate. So if you're gonna do a bit of filming, obviously this is not a true camera bird, but it's not doing a bad job, to be perfectly honest. Actually, I reckon the FBV is almost flyable, you know? Yeah, I would say so. Nice. I like this thing. Altitude hold models, when you pull them to, to bring them down, they don't usually come down very quick, but it's actually keeping the video nice and steady as well. That's really cool. And of course, you can auto take off, auto land with this as well. And just press the kill button if you think you need to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the phone out. I'm going to kill the uh, transmitter, so I'm just going to turn that off. We get flashing LEDs now because it's not actually bound to anything. Yeah, there we go. God, it's getting really cold out here. <laughs> I know I should wear gloves. I've got loads of gloves. Um, I get far too excited with the flying. So to put the um, controls on so that we're going to use our phone, and again, I've got cold hands here, so it might not be the best in the world. Uh, we'd simply press the on button there. Now we've bound back up again. We've got solid LEDs. You can calibrate it on this as well. So there's a calibration one here. You've got the little scales in here. Press that, we get the flashing LEDs. Make sure it's nice and level. You only need to do that if it keeps drifting a lot. We do have trim adjusters on here, and as I showed you, we've got them on the uh, transmitter as well. We can do mission stuff if I've got time, I'll do that. We've got headless mode on here as well. Um, and we've got voice control, which I shan't be using, because every time I've tried it, it's always been a total disaster. So uh, we won't be doing that, and we can flip and everything. So let's have a play with this, shall we? I'm going to set the video going again, because that seems to be working right. Now, it's an altitude hold model, so we just need to flick that on, and then we've got our takeoff. Uh, emergency stop and I'll land in one as well so hey that app's working good already I like it that is seriously a nice piece of kit nice and gentle gee we you can could almost do an orbit oh yeah that's right <laughs> make it really difficult <laughs> Well, there we go. There we go. We are doing an orbit. There we go. <laughs> oh, not quite. <laughs> I tell you what, that FPV is actually flyable. There we go. I can do an orbit. Oh, jazz about. Actually, I'll keep moving. That'll be fine. <laughs> Yay, look at that. Who needs your DJIs, eh? <laughs> That's really quite cool. Okay, we've got flips in here as well. Have we got enough power left? It's actually doing really well. And all with altitude hold as well. Now that's full pitch, uh, which is the tiniest, tiniest bit of breeze. And it's actually enough to stop it. It is really that slow in uh, 30%. I'm going to pop that up to 60%. That's a bit better. There we go. That is cool. That is really nice flyer. I like. I'm going to pop it up into 100%. And yeah, like I say, that FPV is working really well. Range is superb on it for this. <laughs> I almost wonder why you have the transmitter when it works this well. I've had other ones that really don't work this well. And especially, like I say, I've got cold hands as well. So really nice. That is really cool. Okay, so uh, we can fly this on our gyro, I'm thinking. There we go. So now the gyro of the phone. So if I pitch it forward, it'll go forward, backwards, left and right. And you can do this with your, um, in headless mode as well. I'm like, so not a fan of headless mode. You can still rotate it as well. And what I do with the grandkids, I get them to turn with the quad. So if I turn around that way, I turn them around that way. Uh, just, uh, it seems to work for them anyway. It seems to work for granddad too, to be perfectly honest. And you can still uh, climb as well.
That is one smart little quad. I like it. So make sure you turn that off before you do anything else. And with the altitude hold, it's holding really well. So we've got auto land there as well. Uh, we could go into headless mode. Oh, I can't remember which way I'm bound now. Ah, oh, there we go. So I was bound in that way. So again, same as we had before, it's not on any heading at all. So push it that way, it'll always go that way, no matter what way the quad's facing. Here we go, so the quad's facing towards me. If I push forward, it goes forward away, backwards. Not one of my favorites, I must admit. Whoa, whoa, good recovery. It's really nice. It's nice and, fl and actually this FPV is just awesome. I'm just gonna actually give it a go. Perfect. It's really nice. The video is awesome. Got flashing LEDs means we're getting low on power, which is fair enough. It might not do the mission planner thing, which I really don't like anyway. Um, basically, let's give it a try, shall we? Oh no, it's good to do it. So basically, it just goes on a course that you give it to do. So there we go. Wow. <laughs> Probably tell by the sarcastic English accent. I'm really not overly impressed with it. Uh, and you can alter the scale of it as well here. It's that way, that's it. Yep, uh, yeah. <laughs> so just do that with it, it'll just do loop the loops. There we go. It's just following round. I don't know why you'd want to, but anyway. Uh, it is one of those things that's there, and the voice control I won't touch, because honestly, I've had nothing but trouble with those. <laughs> I'm going to stop and restart the video, just in case. And of course, the quality will be exactly the same as we were getting before as well. You know, I'm really impressed with that camera. Well, it's good. And it is really low lighting now. We're really pushing it. And it just handles so well. Brilliant. That's done superbly well. Really nice on flight time. If you're new to flying, it'd be ideal. Or oh, do I risk it? <laughs> and that lovely, that bright yellow, well, especially being as it's got a really dull day. Really smart. Range on, I wonder what the range is like on the FPV. Whoa, we're still holding. That's pretty impressive. That's got to be best part of 30 metres. Gee whiz, it's just starting to break up now, but I've still got control over it. I'm hoping. <laughs> yep, I have. Like I say, with those. Oh, there we go. Now that could be. That... Oh no, still got control. I thought it was gone there. Actually, my screen's gone dark for some unknown reason. Not a good time to be doing it when you're in the middle of a review. Uh, oh, it's on auto brightness, I think, my screen, so that's probably what the problem is. But honestly, I reckon I could fly that FPV. I really reckon I could. <laughs> really nice. And with the altitude holes, I don't think you're going to do any damage with it at all. You've got the prop guards on it as well. Really cool. It's a really nice piece of kit. I think this is one of the most precise uh, apps I've ever used. I can't believe the flight length is incredible with it. Whoa, now I'm getting, <laughs> getting nervous about how far I can fly. Well. <laughs> It is flyable with FPV almost. Crazy. <laughs> that is mad, isn't it? <laughs> Do have to reorient myself with it every so often, but to be honest, it's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> oh. 
Well, I'm going to snuff this up big time, aren't I? I know I am. Whoa! Really nice flyer. Gee whiz! <laughs> what else can I say about it? <laughs> I've got a feeling out of some of my bigger quads that I've got the 4K cameras on and the gimbals and everything. I don't get this long a flight anyway. <laughs> Actually, really nice. And those LEDs are awesome on it. Really good. God, it just handles everything so well. Even the bad lighting situation is doing okay. Actually, the LEDs, when it was right up there, they weren't that great. I was singing its praises earlier. No, they're okay. Yeah, I think it's the slow pulse that's doing it. Well, that is pretty impressive. Gee whiz. Crikey, this is a quad that just never stops giving. Crikey. <laughs> oh, oh, you see my breath now. It is getting really cold out here. I wasn't expecting to be out here for that long. <laughs> slow fast passes, slow smooth passes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool stuff. Well, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm uh, just, just wondering, you know, where I've got all this time to chat to you. I mean, go on, guys, put it in the comments. What are you doing for Christmas? Or what are you hoping for for Christmas? Let's put it that way. What RC toys are we after? And still it keeps going. <laughs> Full pelt as well. I don't think it's quite as fast in on the app as it is in the tr with the transmitter. To be perfectly honest, mind you, that battery is getting really low. I am gobsmacked how long that battery's gone. Seriously. Yeah, and no, I definitely don't think that's quite as fast as it is on the app. Oh, as it is on the transmitter. Sorry. But really, does it really matter when you've got something like this? This is really cool. It's done another six minutes. Look at that. I'm going to just stop that and then start it again. Oops, there we go. Yeah, no, he's doing it. <laughs> Very nice. That is incredible. That is one neat little piece, piece of kit, isn't it? Oops, oh, that would take me out of shot. Oh, it's probably not a bad idea. And you can actually do it nice and controlled as well. Nice and gentle. Well, you can actually do a trolley zoom here, can't we? If I have it coming towards me slowly and I walk towards it, it should give that uh, effect, shouldn't it? That's pretty good on altitude hold, wasn't it? Because it went the length of the garden and back and it was still okay. Way well, there we go. I'm actually glad that's gone. I've gone blue. <laughs> I'm matching these LEDs. Uh, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. Obviously, I'll do the summary and I'll do the setup of the special lights and everything. You'll, uh, yeah, 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 but honestly, that's amazing. Now, this is a modular system, so we can take the legs off and take the camera off and just fly it as a normal quad without the landing gear, which is perfectly what I would do, actually, if I was new to flying. But the other thing it's got is you just simply unplug the camera and then slide the camera unit out and then you've got this little thing here which looks like a little fan and it's got a little uh, LED uh, LEDs running down this blade here and if I just pop that in there and then when we turn it on you get a little message come up 
Actually, I'll turn that round so it's sort of that way. And you can change this to whatever you like. So I'll turn off the studio lights and then you can actually see it. Cool, huh? Okay, so how do we do this? So you have to take it off of the quad, first of all. Uh, you get a cable with it that's a micro USB at one end and a normal USB at the other end. You just need to plug that into your computer. You plug this into here and then they actually give you a little small disk uh, with the program on or you can actually download it off the web as well and then i'm going to show you on the computer how we actually program it up okay this is a neat little program uh, i've just inserted the disk into my drive you double click on here to make it go live and then uh, what we want is led fan and application and like i say you can download this off the web as well i think so it comes up uh, with this is the interface we're going to use up here it shows you whether you're connected to a unit or not and we're not so i'm just going to plug that in and then this will go green there we go we're already there and obviously all in chinese at the moment and i think the original unit actually says i love you in chinese i think <laughs> i'm not 100 sure on that uh, and then swap it over to english obviously uh, and then it's a really simple program to use this is a graphics of the actual fan and you just simply type in here whatever you like And then you can put any of these uh, logos or icons down here in there. You can then uh, change the color as well. So red or whatever you like. Uh, and then you can actually show what it's going to look like. And then the other thing you can do is you can reverse uh, the direction as well, or you can go from uh, middle and yeah, there's loads of options down here and you can uh, start from different directions as well. So yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's quite, it's a bit of a novelty I know, but it's actually quite nice if you're flying over the top of someone and you've got a message like happy birthday or something or other could be cool, especially if you're giving them this quad for their birthday as well. It means you get a go with it as well. Yeah, I'm liking this idea. Uh, okay, and then all we have to do is just simply send it to the unit and then it actually stores it on the unit. So just press send. And then once that's finished, send in is obviously recorded on there. You've got a limited amount of ROM in here, I think. So, uh, but honestly, you'd have to fill up all this uh, for it. And the nice thing is if you've done a little bit of display or anything, you can actually just save it back to your hard drive. Uh, and then you can also open it up as well, if you like. So I think, I think it's quite a nice little thing. Uh, and also you can actually pull in what you've already put on there as well. So if you haven't saved it anywhere else, it will save it on the unit, but obviously only the last one you've used. Okay, I'm gonna run some flight footage for you so you can actually see the quality of it. Honestly, there's no difference between storing it on here or taking it back to your phone. Um, well, yeah, honestly, I couldn't see it. And it really doesn't drop uh, frames uh, much either on it. Obviously, you could do if you were at the extent of the uh, Wi-Fi range. But uh, where I was just playing around in the garden quite close to me, I never had any issues with it, actually. Uh, but uh, you do have the micro SD card slot there. So obviously, in theory, that should give you a better quality. <laughs> I find that arguable, though, on this particular model. What do I think of it? Come on, you already know. I love it. It's awesome. Um, it, I really didn't think I'd be outside in freezing cold weather for 18 and a half minute flight time, um, which was pretty impressive. And I've flown it a few times now, uh, and there's some indoor footage as well, you'll see. And, uh, you know, it, it actually goes for 18, 19 minutes every single time uh, without any bother at all, probably on warm battery in a better environment it would probably actually go uh, even longer sort of thing but that's what it flew out there so that was my test uh, this is everything you get with it uh, which i think is a pretty good package uh, i would actually just fly it with the landing gear off uh, no camera on it and everything and just have a have a blast with it like that because it's actually really good fun it is just a fun uh, quad and it does a reasonable job i was well impressed with the camera for what it is and the fpv seriously if you put a pair of vr goggles on you could probably fly it um, i wouldn't be going too uh, uh, frantic with it but it was certainly flyable as you saw even when I was flying it on the app the app worked brilliant I mean you know superb uh, as good as any app I think I've ever flown anything on so I'm pretty impressed with that uh, transmitter was good uh, range was a little bit short uh, and I had a quick look at the top there's usually an antenna sticking out you can sort of see it down in there but you can't on this particular model um, so uh, if you if range was an issue to you all you have to do is take the transmitter apart find where the antenna antenna is probably drill a hole and pull it out and it'll probably give you more range 
for my use in that I thought for what it was it was it was fine absolutely no problem at all uh, you saw the range well, it was about 50 meters I think wasn't it from memory uh, but you'll see on the footage anyway and all it does is just drop down to the ground so um, it's not going to do any damage obviously if you're over water be really careful don't run it too far because it will just drop but there's nothing you can do about it so transmitter is good really a little bit annoyed there's no markings on it at all but if it's your only quad you you'd soon get the hang of it and as you noticed even when I was flying and I fly loads of different ones uh, it really wasn't that difficult to do it's quite sort of straightforward it does take three AA batteries by the way in the back there that you need and it doesn't come with those you've got prop guards with this as well so you've got yellow at the front and uh, the black at the back and they're quite good they just simply pop on uh, there uh, just, just going to slip that into there there we go you actually have to put it at a slight angle to get it in let me just show you on that one so you just put it there there you go and you see how easy it goes in uh, they do give you the screws for it as well to hold them in uh, actually it, it, I didn't really notice that they, they would ever pop out they sort of clip in once they're in there makes it a bit bigger quad but it will protect anything if you're new to flying definitely the props are really flexible I uh, don't really think they do an awful lot of damage if they hit anything uh, but certainly ornaments and things I'll be very careful indoors with uh, all in all I really like it's a little lightweight quad but does a really nice flight it's, it's funny the recent ones i've done have been sort of back to basics and they've really worked really well you only get two spare props with it you don't get any yellow ones or i didn't get any in my pack uh, this is your actual phone holder and it's actually really strong spring on that and it, it could literally hold my phone like that and wiggle the uh, transmitter and it was no problem at all the landing gear just pops in um, so if you if you want the landing gear on obviously if you're going to put the phone or the uh, little led fan you need to have that in and uh, pop that in and then you're away uh, they do give you the screws again but again it was such a tight fit i didn't didn't bother with them to be perfectly honest get a little phillips screwdriver with it as well i'm gradually clearing the desk here this is good the actual camera module, as you can see, the pièce de résistance with the uh, fan, uh, which actually I thought, oh, when I saw it, and I thought, actually, it's quite cool. Uh, and honestly, it's not costing you anything. I think it'd be quite smart of you, you know, happy birthday, bro. Uh, and then this is your present or something in the next line that comes up. So, um, you know, I think it could be quite cool. Uh, do sort of things like that or propose with it. I don't know. Um, would a woman think that was very uh, good? Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps not. <laughs> Perhaps that's not a good idea. Don't, uh, if you try that, uh, don't use Tigger's RC reviews i don't want loads of thumbs down from uh, ladies saying what on earth is he playing at uh, the battery itself when you charge it up it's a lossy micro uh, uh, adapter that they give you and that goes into uh, a usb and i'll just plug it in here uh, if you're out, out and about you can use a power bank which is what i tend to do or you it's stick it in your car or or obviously a computer laptop or anything like that or if you're back at home obviously a mains adapter and then i'll just turn this on and you'll just see you get a red led when it's actually charging when it's fully charged the led goes off i found it took about two and a half hours com from completely flat uh, well you know the, the quad had just touched down on the ground um uh, to fully charge uh, because it is 1600 milliamp hours and it gives you that long a flight but the nice thing is with lipos if you've run it for 10 minutes or five minutes and you're coming back in or you're not flying uh, for a little bit longer to bang it on charge um, and then bring it back up and then you're all ready to fly next time you go out so all in all i really like it there is one other thing as well you've got the instructions with it as well which aren't bad they're actually um, pretty good the um, chinglish isn't too bad uh, and it runs through everything which i think i've sort of covered everything on the actual review and it has it in chinese as well so there we go so if that's for you if you want the everything you bunged in and a great flyer as well a really nice precise flyer that's really good fun and a really good app i honestly don't know of anything that's a lot better for that price mm -hmm.